Tie the knit the Cabbage Patch Edge Stitch, English style. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor Webs for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Northampton yarn from their Valley Yarns line in the color Dahlia. For this stitch you'll need to know the following techniques. Knit, purl, yarn over, knit five together, purl five together. To begin this stitch you must cast on in multiples of six plus three. Row 1. Beginning on the right side of our work, we are going to knit all stitches. Row 2. We're going to begin by purling 2. Then we are going to purl 5, and as we purl each, we're going to yarn over twice on our needle, and then work the stitches normal. Okay, so let's do that four more times. This is going to give us a nice big extended stitch in the next row when we drop this second wrap. Okay, so that's three, two more. All right, now we're going to start our repeat by purling one. And then we're going to purl five again, wrapping the yarn twice around each time. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to repeat this sequence until we reach the last two stitches in our row. And when we get to the last two stitches, we're going to purl two. Row three, we're going to begin by knitting two. Then we're going to knit a cluster over the next five stitches. So we will begin by slipping the first stitch onto our working needle and we'll slip all five stitches, all or the next four stitches, dropping the second wrap as we go. Okay, so now we've got our five extended stitches here. We'll slip these back to our main needle and now we're going to knit five together. So we're going to knit all five of these extended stitches together as one we're going to wrap the yarn around our needle two times. Okay, so pull it right through, like so. Then we're going to bring our yarn in front, and we will purl five together, again wrapping the yarn around the needle twice. So we'll do that again. Knit five together, wrapping the yarn twice. Okay, and this can get pretty tight, so make sure you're not wrapping too tightly. Purl five together, wrapping twice. And we'll do one more where we knit five together, wrapping twice. So we've created five new stitches here. Okay, and we wrapped all of them two times. So it might look a little bit funky, but that's okay, we'll deal with that on the next row. So now we're going to start our repeat by knitting one, and we're going to do another cluster five here. So we'll slip these over, dropping the second loop. We will transform them over together, and then we will knit five together, wrapping two times. Okay, and then purl five together. Make sure you do this real loose. Okay, knit five together. And then purl five together. Remember wrapping two times every single time. And knit five together to finish it off. And we'll repeat this sequence all the way until we reach the last 
two stitches in our row. And to finish up, when we get to the last two stitches, we're going to knit two. Row four. We're going to begin by purling two. Then we're going to knit five, dropping the extra loop on each stitch. So we're just going to knit as normal. To each one of these loops. Okay, and then we will begin our next repeat by purling one, and then we will knit five dropping the extra loop for each stitch. Okay, we'll repeat this sequence all the way until the end of the row, to the last two stitches. And when we get to the last two stitches in our row, we're going to purl two. So repeat rows one through four until you've reached your desired length. And that's how you knit the Cabbage Patch Edge Stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more news today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newstitchaday.com VIP.